Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time we beat Chapter 2. The devious Mimi had attempted to, ca to kill us, but we won the day with the help of Mysterious Merle. Yeah, so I just got a brief memo from Mimi. It says, I messed up bad! That's the message in its entirety. Yeah. <laughs> she failed to best him, even with my gift of power. A light prognosticus hero. Descendants of the ancient tribe. Their strength grows. Count Black! I beg you, give me the honor of wailing on this pack of nambly pamblies. I swear on me whiskers that'll spank them like naughty little trebles I will. Oh, so, oh chunks, yeah, you think you're all set to go? So I guess you finished up that report on your own inadequacy that I needed? Wow, that is, that is mean. Uh, you see, I just got a wee bit left. I'm working on me conclusion. You gotta give me a break. Me writing takes time, lass. And a thousand pages be a lot. Oh, Chunks, calm yourself. Take a minion timeout. Count Black will send. Dementio, come to me. Count Black. And so I arrive, like a sudden windstorm at a kindergarten picnic. <laughs> You'd like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio. So you shall have it, but do not disappoint Count Black. Dispatch this hero. Your wish is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now, if there is nothing else, I'll just be on my way. Ciao, my Count. Yeah, so, oh Chunks, can you fill me in on why you're still not writing that report? A report? What are you- Ugh. Yeah, all right, I'm going, you great beard tweaker. Count, let me just bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I still have to root out a few unconverted rogues, but I'll report back soon. Heroes, trying to save these pathetic old worlds. Black, says Count Black. Black, <laughs> their efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. Hmm, getting a bit of insight on his feelings, are we? Oh, my head. Hey, where am I? Oh, yeah, now I remember. I was saving Princess Peach, but I screwed it up, and... You awake, Green? Yeah. Hey there, uh, bad guys. You doing alright? Yeah, we're doing okay. Good to see you made it. I think it was done. Dude, he's tougher than he looks. So, yeah. Kinda awkward. Say, have you guys seen the Princess and the Bowser? Nope, not so much. You're the only one we found lying around here. Hopefully they're both okay. Get a load of this moron. Who cares about his friend? Near as we can figure, most of the other minions got captured or something. And we're probably next. Why is this dude so calm? We're behind enemy lines! So, Luigi, old buddy. What do you think about maybe getting out of here? We're thinking maybe you open up the path for us, and we all bail. What you think? No, no. No, I... I couldn't possibly. I've got to save the princess. Man. Wow. Did not expect that. All those great stories about great Luigi's daring exploits. We'd heard you were the help defender of the helpless. We have no one else. The g great Luigi, you say? A, a daring defender? Me? Then I've got no choice. Luigi must spring into action. My friends need me. 
Oh, you are the best! Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker. We're right behind you. But the second the going gets rough, we bail. Then follow me, brave uh, Goombas. Here we go! Now we play as Luigi! Yay! He can jump high! And his movement is mobility is a little slippery, unlike Mario's. The way the Goombas move will tell you where to go. It is pretty creepy that everything is in black and white here. Wait for us! Uh oh. Looks like the end of the line here. Uh, oh boy. Looks like you're right. Now what do we do? Uh, shouldn't we look for another way out maybe? This guy's useless. If we stay put, somebody's definitely gonna spot. Hail Black! Gary! No! Mm -mm -mm. I've been looking all over for you. You! Yeah, you're that guy who really wasn't a team player back at the wedding. You're gonna need a little disciplinary action, I think. So let's get started, hmm? Oh man, poor Gary. Alright, it's time for me to Goomba up! Hey lady, got room for one more on your team? What? Hey, wait a second, what are you doing? What's that look like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team! Yeah, good call. Love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear your, you know, undying loyalty to the Count, and you're on board. Hey, count me in, lady. Here we go, Count. Here we go. Love that Count. You, you dirty traitor. Okay, guys, new agenda. Hold this fool down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am. Uh -oh. Ah, whoa, hey, no. Mario, where are you? Help. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh dearie god. You're late. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me. Sneaking out of the castle wasn't easy after that. I was worried you wouldn't come. You are a strange girl. You know what I am, and yet you do not seem afraid. I don't care what you are. I just wanted to see you. Is that... Is that so wrong? No, no, of course not. I wanted to see you too. Blumier, do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Tinfani. Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. Well, isn't that sweet? Oh, welcome back, friends! How was your journey this time? Did you find Merle and obtain the pure heart? Yeah. Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. Merle said that we would need the power of four heroes to save the world. Yes, Merle said that. Oh, is that so? There is more than one hero? Well, if Mario and Peach are two such heroes, then you still need two more. Uh-oh. Look! Over there! Oh, that's... The void has grown. Hmm. I fear that our time grows short, dear friends. I will return to the light prognosticus. You young ones, seek the next heart pillar. <clears throat> oh, 
But first, allow me to tell of something that mystical book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the light or dark prognosticus predicts truly. Both books refer to him as the man in green, but I know not what this means. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. Alright, so... Now, it's, uh, it's worth noting that any new friends or abilities you, uh, meet or obtain, they are vital to finding the next pure heart, or the next heart pillar, I should say. Now, I believe since we rescued Merle... Oh no, this is- no, this is more lovely. <laughs> Welcome to the Fortune Teller's Fortress. My name is Mer Lovely. I use the twinkling of the stars to help people find the path to happiness. If you're- if you pay just a few coins, I will tell you the path you need to follow next. One fortune will cost you precisely 25 coins. Would you hear it? Nah, I know what to do. Ah, I see. Your fortune does not interest you, so then be on your way. So that's more lovely, okay. Now, first things first. Now that we've gotten Boomer... We can come over here. Damn it. I remember God damn it. I remember this. Fuck. Keep going up and you will find, eventually, haha, <laughs> fuck! Let's use Peach for this, actually. Wow, that actually did, that actually did work. And if we get... Cooking Disc R, a special card for the Dining Specializer. The stone is oddly colored, and there's a picture drawn on it. Hmm, looks to be important. We'll worry about that later. I love how they have these blocks here to make it look like Oh, it actually is turned. That's cool. Now, that special uh, data cooking data disk, I believe that lets you look up more recipes for items. I think. But now... Now we go... Down to the first floor, I think it is. No, no, not not this one. No, not, not this one. Sounds so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. But peace might be getting a little old. I kind of wish something wild would happen. Like, say, someone falsely accused me and I had to take on some massive debt. Nah, <laughs> just joking. 
just how no matter how boring piece seems, that oh, would total still totally stink. Funny that happened to me. Hey, do you believe in fortune tellers? If you don't, then you ought to try seeing one just once. My mom says it might keep you from giving up on something frustrating you. Good advice. This is the second floor, babe. That elevator will take you to the first floor, you know. If you go even farther down, you'll end up at a pretty decent little beveragearium. It looks a little shady, but probably okay for all ages. Check it out, babe. No, I wanted to talk to the. G well, whatever. But she, she is right. There is a beveragearium around here somewhere. I believe it's right here. Ooh, hello! You got- you got a, the internet card. Don't worry, we'll be looking at these cards, uh, like later on. A hole in the sky, you say? I don't care about that, you blabbering dolt. Ah, where has that cursed wordsmith gone? What lies down here? Ah, yes. We will be seeing this in the future. I saw something back there. Ah, hits the spot. Milk straight up. The only way to drink milk. Come on in, take a load off. This <clears throat> no, no. This is the beveragearium down low. The underwear. I'm the owner of this joint. The name's Garson. So yeah, welcome and all that. Listen, in my line of work, I hear gossip. Even gossip I don't care about. But who knows, somebody might care about the stuff. Maybe even you. So yeah, if you ever want to talk, you know where to find me. Right here. For just a few coins, I'll tell you some interesting stories. No joke. You here for a story? So yeah, I have a story I call Stylish Moves for 10 coins. All right. So yeah, ever heard of stylish moves? They're cool poses for after stomping. After stomping an enemy, but before landing, tilt the wheel mode around and give it a shake. You'll pull off some cool tricks in midair. Those are called stylish moves. What? What's that wheel mode? Don't worry. As long as the player gets it, we're fine. Doing stylish moves is not only cool, but it gives you lots of points. And if you hold down two after a jump, you'll bounce high, make it even easier. Just give it a shot. I'm tapped. If you want to hear another story sometime, you know where to find me. Pure hearts. Alright. So yeah, ever heard of the pure hearts? Yes. They're great treasures created by the ancients. Supposedly really powerful. Folks say that heroes will appear to collect them all and save the world. The source of power in these pure hearts? The power of love itself. The love of a parent? The love of the smitten? Great power indeed. The ancients researched this power, believing it to be the universe's only salvation. And these pure hearts were create, thus created, the shining embodiment of love itself. Their combined brilliance will negate the destruction born from the, of the Chaos Heart. We hope. Anything else? Dark Prognosticus, okay. So yeah, ever heard of the, ever heard of the Dark Prognosticus? Everything that'll happen in the future is written down in this book. The author and the source of his knowledge are still a total mystery, though. Over the years, many have fought over it. Entire countries have fallen. And the fall of those countries was already predicted in the book. Imagine going through awful stuff to get the book, only to read about it all after. Anyway, someone hid the book long ago, and now no one knows where it is. I wonder what sort of person has it now. I wonder... The Ancients. So yeah, ever heard of an advanced civilization called the Tribe of Ancients? They were like a thousand times smarter than you or me. There were four austere, sage, austere sages among them. You know one of these as Merlumina. But when it came to love, these sages were unreserved. Their passion burned hot. 
I've heard some pretty spicy legends about the love life of Merlumina in particular. In fact, her love life threatened to destroy the world on a few occasions. Wait, Merlumina? I don't know if those stories are true or not, and I guess we'll never know. Anything else? Flip side secrets. So yeah, these are the words written in the book left behind by the ancients. On the outskirts of town, third floor, look for the hidden platform to go up. I don't know what this means exactly. Maybe it's a way to find secret treasure. Maybe you ought to go check it out. Descendants of the Ancients. So yeah, you meet Merlon and Merlin yet? They're descendants of the Ancients and distantly related to each other, I hear. The Ancients hid the pure hearts in various worlds to stop eventual destruction. Then the Ancients scattered through the various worlds to pass the rest of their days. Most of them were wise and kind like Merlumina. And like Merlumina, many of them would totally lose their cool when they fell in love. But it was this very passion that let them to build the vessels of love. The pure hearts. Hmm. Anything else? Pit of 100 Trials. So yeah, you know about the Pit of 100 Trials. It's supposedly this 100 room labyrinth underneath this very town. Many have searched for the entrance, but it still remains hidden. The only clue we have is the same from the ancients. Pit Seekers, go to the town outskirts, the lowest floor, and seek hidden platform platforms. It sounds sort of like the clue I gave you earlier, doesn't it? What's all this stuff about hidden platforms anyway? If you find out, let me know. I feel bad. You came here to see me, but I've got no stories to tell right now. Well, maybe I ought to tell you a story I've told you before, but for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Alright, so... Cool, what's this? Sometimes, if you look closely at the camera, you'll see little hidden secrets. Oh, I am most pleased! Another gaming customer has found us! Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure, the Arcade! I am the master of this fine establishment. You may call me the Interject. It is a pleasure to rob you, I mean, meet you. Now that the introductions are out of the way, let me tell you about this place. This is the Arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. To play some games, you must first purchase flipside tokens. Just come see me with a few coins and I will give you the tokens you need. But you cannot return tokens for coins, so be careful. Oh, so careful, gamer. And once you have some tokens, enter this neato entry to the left. You may play fun games until you run out of tokens. You will love it, gamer. But now I have crucial information. Get a good score to receive tokens back. Collect a lot of tokens and turn them in for wonderful prizes. Play the games, get good, and then earn prizes, gamer. Oh, Arcade, it is paradise! That ends my explanation. Now do you see how wonderful this place is, gamer? A gamer seeks entertainment. What can I do for you? Did you just get the same feel? Yep. Frog. Greetings. Tell me, pal. <clears throat> Have you tried the games with an as of yet? If you achieve a high score, you can be an elite record holder like me. I doubt you'll be beating my high scores, though. Heh! <laughs> well, good luck, pal. Boy, games are fun. No matter how many coins I hand over, I'm out of tokens like that. I spent 50 coins just today. I even spent my snack funds. It's so much fun, I can't stop. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What should I play next? I don't know. That's Mort, a game lover. He's here before the arcade opens and stays until closing. He's lost a lot more than just coins this place. He needs a video game this week. That's Hort, the Iron Man of games. He plays like a professional. He's back in the arcade again today, looking for a worthy adversary. He's a master of games, just not the game of love. We'll take a look at this later. That's the inner chat. This arcade owner's face is square, but his personality is round. I don't know exactly what he really is. His whole being is a mystery. He's literally a black box. But yeah, I will be coming back to this arcade to try and, uh... 
play some games. That's Garson, the info guy. A bit of a rascal in his youth, he troubled everyone. To make up for it, he opened an information exchange shop for everyone. And you? That, <clears throat> that's Chap. He's always thirsty. He comes here at noon and drinks milk all day. He always jokes that milk runs through his veins. But then he worried that it really did and went to the doctor. That's a secret. Wait. Oh. You can actually interact- I Oh. I think there's another, um... I think there's like another shop somewhere where you can listen to certain soundtracks. Hello. Greetings. Name's Flim. Freelance sales freak, fully licensed and bonded. Sell anything. Sell to anyone. Sell big, sell often, sell now. My slogan, trademarked. I sell stuff that's so hard to find, not even I can find it. Yeah, you heard me right. So, look and then buy. Hmm. Some of these aren't that hard to find. So, you want nothing? Color me flustered. Well, inventory changes like that. Yeah, that quick, so come back soon. That's Flim, the salesman. His prices and his stock fluctuate day to day. Sometimes he carries rare items. Oh. That's a small house we can't go to. It's a tiny shop. There's no way we're getting inside it like this. Do we need a drink mead potion? And do we need an eat me cookie to grow back to size? How, cu how curious. Alright. We'll go to the heart pillar eventually, but there's just some stuff I wanted to look at. Greetings, Cormay. Welcome to the high-tech database of the food, the Dining Specializer. That's the Dining Specializer. It gives ingredient lists for your favorite recipes. You can even use it to get information on where to find a loose ingredients. ingredients. I don't think it's loaded with all the recipes yet, though. Fortunately, it will update any time you bring it new recipe data, sugar. You should find some cooking data somewhere and put it in there. You have cooking disk R. Use it to increase the data in my memory banks. Would you like to use it? Yes. Data update complete. Searchable items have increased. Please select the recipe or ingredient you want to know more about. Alright, Electro Pop. Shocking candy that will zap any foe that touches you. Made from a Thunder Rage. Snow Cone. A super freezy snow cone that's too cold to eat. Use it on enemies to freeze them and cause damage. Made from an ice storm. Sky Juice. Tasty sweet and sour juice. Heals 15 HP and cures poison. Made from a blue apple. Koopa... Tea? Briefly reduces damage taken by half. Made from a turtle leaf. Fried shroom plate. A basic shroom dish. Restores 15 HP and cures poison. Made from a shroom shake. Good luck in the kitchen, gourmet. May all your souffles rise to the occasion. Ah, so it seems that we actually can, in fact... Yeah, it seems that we can, uh... Actually, you know what? Hello there, sugar. Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Our little dish our dishes will turn that little frown right upside down. Just bring me an ingredient, sugar, and I'll whip up a di dish guaranteed to satisfy. Ooh, now let's get cooking. Go on and choose the ingredient you want, sugar. Shroom shake. So, sugar, you want me to create a dish for you with a shroom shake? Mm-hmm. One delicious dish coming right up, sugar. Choppy, bubbly, yum. Put it in your tummy. One more second and then... Done. Enjoy the yum, sugar. Fried shroom plate. Ooh, this is the first time I've made this dish for you. I'll add this to my recipe list. 
Remember, sugar, if you find new ingredients, you bring them on by to me. Alright, let's do this with, with uh, fresh veggie. Now, some items... You actually cannot turn into food, like catch cards. If you try, you'll receive something called a cooking mistake. Now, if the food is if the food is really good, it'll have a heart and like a rainbow over it. So, real quick. How does her hair do that? That's unique. Mango juice. I want to turn anything I can into a good food. I cannot. So you know what? We'll try it on a sleepy sheep. This will g give us something called a cooking mistake. Oh no. Wait, I made a mistake. Oh well, these things happen, sugar. You got a mistake. Send it back to the kitchen. The smell could KO you. Ooh, this is the first time I made this. Yeah, and funny enough, it actually counts. I don't know if that actually would have counted as an item to attack, but that would have been hilarious. Alright. Now I believe there's something around here. That's the catch card shop over there. We'll look more into these later, don't worry. The episode's already kinda of, kinda of long though. I think I know where I need to go. written here. Try reading it. Ah, yes, there's a pipe. Ah, yes, if I remember correctly, there was a series of blocks around here somewhere that were blocked off. No pun intended. anything? It hurts me. Sprung on! That was absolutely amazing. What is this? Hmm. Ow. Ow. Damn you. Ow. 
Curious. There's a chest over there, but we can't do anything about it yet. Nope. Thus, our pure heart has been placed. <laughs> now then, next time we will go into Chapter 3-1 If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Be sure to hit that bell. Until then, everyone.